We're talking about a 30% premium over the last uh, closing price. Uh, does this offer make sense? Well, it does make some sense from the coach's point of view that they're reducing the overall price that they paid. You know, some analysts have pointed to the fact that uh, the last time they increased their stake, they were paying 11,000 yen per share. So that was this is a, a significant discount from that. And when you, you noted that it's a 31 percent premium, but if you look, it's really the same price that the shares were trading uh, market value at the beginning of the year. So uh, it, it's a it's a fairly good price for them to come in at. There's not a lot of economic logic, though, for them to uh, take out a company that they already control. You know, they already had 50 percent. So uh, while there's not a huge benefit to either side for this deal, the pricing looks good uh, for from Itoch's point of view and probably ends up helping their uh, P&L. What is really the outlook then when it comes to Family Mart? Well, they've, they've uh, cut their core earnings outlook uh, to 57 billion yen from 85 billion. That's a, that's a pretty uh, sharp cut there. Uh, obviously, mm -hmm. the pandemic has reduced the fortunes of, of many a retailer in Japan. Uh, it's like everywhere. Uh, it's a very tough business to be in uh, right now. But I think a company like Itochu is, is well positioned to look far beyond that. I mean, they have an A3 credit rating. They don't. The balance sheet is strong enough to undertake a transaction like this. I think they're looking at this big picture digitalization. You know, uh, Itochu is a very strong company logistically. They're a supplier, uh, as well as owning this uh, uh, this convenience store chain. So for them, they're looking at the prospect of offering uh, their own e-money, for example, their own e-payment system, uh, integrating that into an offering of convenience stores so that they can offer delivery as well uh, through their own network and, and basically vertically control the distribution chain. That's, that's one of their big strengths as a company that uh, it's a trading company, so they're involved in all a wide array of businesses, including importing food and other items, uh, and it enables them to basically operate a convenience store uh, in a very efficient way.